Going to extremes triggers big bass during tough bites, and Extreme Bass Tactics explains how to fish bigger, smaller, deeper or shallower, faster or slower to get radical results. It's part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com. Bass are a versatile species that thrive in a wide variety of different waters across the country. Oh, whoa, I love it. I love While bass it. are bass wherever they swim, water clarity is one of those critical factors that determine where and how fish function in any lake, river, or reservoir. Truth be told, dark water bass are far different than clear water bass. Let's join James and Al Lindner with a primer on extreme clear water bass fishing. Ooh, there's one, Al. Yeah, it looks Better good. one there. Ooh. Look at it. He's got, look at the size of the buddy with him, Al. You have a look, tank oh, or no, no, there's a great big one with it. I mean, like a really big one. You got to say, I, you got okay, on. I got it, I got it. Okay, right he's there. on my bait, he's on my bait. He's oh, on, he's whoa, on yeah. it. Oh. oh, got him, Jim. Oh, man. Feels good. Feels like a good one. Nice fish. Nice fish, man. I know many bass anglers consider real clear water like this to be probably one of the more tougher environments to catch fish out of. Right now, Al and I are going to look at strategies for catching big brown bass and as well as uh, uh, largemouth bass and a lot of uh, fish out of really clear water. You know, the body of water that we're on today is deep, cold, crystal clear, got a lot of wood in it, got some weeds in it, a lot of vertical structure, has a strong population of smallmouth bass like this, and a pretty good population of largemouth. Today, Jim and I are concentrating mainly on the brown bass. Whether you're fishing for smallmouth, largemouth, or even spotted bass in ultra clear water, it's vital to understand the environment and the nature of the fish that swim in it. With increased visibility, clear water fish tend to roam and often suspend a lot. We're focusing our efforts on shoreline areas shallower than 30 feet of water. These 30 foot food shelves are full of standing trees and the smallmouth we're catching are suspended in and around these submerged forests. Oh, God. Here it comes, look at him. <laughs> oh, I thought she was bigger than that. Now, but she ain't a bad one, I can fly. Oh, look at his fish, it's really beat up. Look at this. Look at this one side of this thing. Wonder what she had. Huh, look at that. Think something big grabbed it or something? Huh. You know, we got a variety of different rods rigged for the different kind of habitat we're fishing here. And when you're fishing clear water like this, you're always fishing extremes. You gotta keep that in mind. You're either fishing oh, yeah. very, very got fast it, it. To, to get a reaction oh, yeah. bite from the fish, and I mean extremely one, yeah. fast, or extremely slow with a finesse presentation. Show you some of our favorite baits for smallies in these conditions. The fish in very clear water environments can be very opportunistic and yet very selective at the same time. In other words, really finicky. This being said, when you fish with soft baits, fluorocarbon is the rule. You need every advantage you can get. Catching fish in clear water means stealth. If the fish can sense your presence, the odds of catching them go down dramatically. One approach is ultra finesse. Small, subtle baits fish slow. One thing about slow moving baits, the bass get a good look at it, so it's gotta look natural. For swimming retrieves, we like to use smaller swim baits or lifelike minnow profiles presented on a VMC jig head. For bottom bouncing, a Trigger X five inch spade tail worm is tough to beat. Rig it on a shaky head or a drop shot rig. With these baits, I like to use six to 10 pound suffix castable fluorocarbon. Hey, in clear water, invisible line like fluorocarbon can make a huge difference in the number of bites. Good. 
big fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, boy. boy. That's a little bit better one on the x -Wap. Boy, Boy, she just came up and ate it. Boy, she's a tanker. Yeah. See Absolute that. tanker, Marty. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's a good one there. For this really clear water fishing, one of my all-time favorite baits, and I know an all-time favorite bait for a lot of really good bass fishermen is a jump bait. Like we said before, clear water fish can be very finicky and yet very opportunistic. Capitalizing on the yeah. opportunistic <laughs> side of these fish, we employ oh, a run and gun fast. technique. The it's idea it's here is to move fish. lures very fast, forcing the fish to move a great distance to track down the bait. The further they travel, the more they commit. Got him. There we go. Oh, that's a better one there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the most productive oh, tactics for big bass is a walking the dog retrieve with an axe walk. Fish just can't help themselves. <sighs> Look at that one, huh? Now that's a good looking brown bass. Oh, can you see him? Yeah. Well, Whoa. big one, you get her? Oh, he's yeah. got, he's got oh, one with, look at the one with the dad. Yeah, I got it, I got it. You got it? Other lures we like to use for this hyper-aggressive technique are shallow lip jerk baits, like an X-Rap, flat wrap, or a max wrap. Oh. Two of them. Flip back in there. There's another so, one. Was there another yep. one with him? Yep. You want to lure that you can cast a long distance and fish with both extreme speed and erratic behavior. Going to extremes triggers big bass during tough bites. And extreme bass tactics explains how to fish bigger, smaller, deeper or shallower, faster or slower to get radical results. It's part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection available at anglingedge.com.